So this is the question. I love this question absolutely. Like two random variables x and y, okay. Two random variables x and y have two distinct values. Okay, try to understand the problem very carefully. Two random variables x and y has two distinct values. Uh, they are independently distributed if and only if their correlation coefficient is zero. Okay, so two random variables x and y takes only these two distinct values prove that they are independently distributed if and only if their correlation coefficient is zero. Okay, another thing coming to this question, can you tell a continuous random variable, two continuous random variables coming from a certain distribution? If they are independently distributed, if and only if their correlation coefficient is zero, can you tell me such uh, continuous random variable? It's a really important result and a really unique characterization of such continuous random variable. Can you give an example? So, bivariate normal. Perfect, lovely. So, normal distribution is such an example of a continuous distribution where if you take two x and y coming from normal, they are independent if and only if the correlation coefficient is zero. You can prove it. Okay, it's because of when you multiply it. Uh, the correlation coefficient coming up to be in the top, it will come out. Yeah, you're right, Pratik. Coming to top to be, it's like you can easily find it out. It's fine, like x square plus y square minus rho xy. So rho is zero, then it will the whole thing will distribute. Okay, that's the idea. The whole thing will distribute. Yeah, you're right. So let's focus on this problem. Okay, let's understand now the idea about. Uh, the independence, how to understand from this contingency table about the independence, okay. X takes A and B and this takes C and D. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Now, let's take, this is P. This will also help you understand joint random variables, okay. Let's say this is P. This must be 1. And what this will be? No, let's let's not take this to be P. Let's take this to be P. This will be 1 minus P, the marginals. This to be Q and this to be 1 minus Q. Let's take this to be alpha. You will see this is the deciding factor. And this will turn out to be Q minus alpha. This will turn out to be P minus alpha. This will turn out to be 1 minus P minus Q plus alpha. Okay. Let's try to understand this. That what is what is meant by algebraically by independence over here? Observe that alpha it's independent, x is independent of y. If and only if can you tell me why alpha is equal to can you tell me what what is alpha, Tishika, Bhushan, Sneha? What is independence? It's very simple. X and y is independent if and only if alpha is equal to PQ. Lovely. PQ, who was a sneha? Lovely. It's equal to PQ. P into Q, right? It's a marginal. It's a marginal of X. This is a marginal of Y. It's equal to PQ. So therefore, what we have to show algebraically is that it's the following that X correlation of XY is equal to zero if and only if alpha is equal to pq okay guys so that's what we have to show now and let's try to find correlation let's try to find correlation we will just find out the uh, value of correlation so let's try to find the correlation from here so correlation is what uh, let's try to find out x and y so why do i find why do i do x and y this is, okay, let's try to understand this. It's AC with probability alpha, AD with probability Q minus alpha, BC with probability P minus alpha, and uh, BD with probability 1 minus P minus Q plus alpha. A lot of variables over here. You have to must be careful with this. That's why it was a 15 marks problem in our system examination. Okay, let's find an expectation of x. It really clears your basic, you know. I love this problem. So, 
सो एक्स का एक्सपेक्टेशन एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स फाइव लेट्स राइट इट डाउन equal to sum of this okay it's weird and x ka expectation is what it's a times let's see a times q plus b times 1 minus q you have to be prepared for do this type of calculation okay a times q plus b times 1 minus q An expectation of y is c times p plus d times one minus p. An expectation of x y is a c times alpha plus a d times q minus alpha plus b c times p minus alpha plus b d times one minus p minus q plus alpha. Okay, let's try to find out expectation of x, y, minus expectation of x times expectation of y. Now this is a very challenging task. The challenging task comes up because because there are a lot of variables. What do you have to understand? We need to prove what? We need to prove that it's equal to if and only if it's equal to zero, if and only if alpha is equal to pq, right? That we need to prove. So we need to do something such that we need alpha minus something over here, right? So that's the thing we need to do. So remember, we need to get this term alpha minus pq common from all of this. So remember, we need to arrange that in term in that manner. So like we need to get this as alpha minus pq times something. This is equal to zero. So we will get this term out. So this is the sense of algebra you must have, okay? As a High school mathematics person, like knowing the high school mathematics well, that's why it's like written in number. Okay, so let's try to find out. Like, how do you find out this in that? So AC, I will try to jump short. AC alpha plus ADQ minus AD alpha. I'll just do it in front of you, okay, so that you understand that it's we have to work a bit hard to do this. BD. Minus B D P minus B D Q plus B D alpha minus A Q plus B minus B Q times C P plus D minus C P D. So let's. Clear it over here. Minus we get A C P Q plus A Q D minus A P D Q plus B C P plus B D minus B B T. Minus B C P Q minus B D Q D plus B D P Q. Okay, we can erase this now. So we have have we have this now. Let's try to see whether there's some cancellations or not. There must be some cancellations. Okay, it's a natural way. Let's try to write it down. Minus A C P Q minus A Q D. Plus A P D Q plus B C P plus B D minus B P D. Sorry, I'm doing something wrong again. Minus B C P minus B D plus P D B plus B C P Q plus B Q D. Minus B D P Q. Let's erase this up. If you have already found out certain cancellations, do let me know. Let like make my life easier and yours too. B C P. B C P. Okay, lovely. Thank you so much. B C P is getting cancelled. B C P. B C P. B C P. B C P. कहाँ गया? B C P over here. Yeah, lovely. 
BD, 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 lovely. Okay, nice. Other, BC, other, BP, BC alpha this is also cancelled. AC, AC alpha, Q. AC alpha, AC alpha, AC alpha. AC PQ, AC PQ. AC PQ, what is AC PQ? Other AC PQ? What else? What else? Any other cancellations? I think BDQ. AQD, AQD, AQD. All these three terms are cancelling, okay? BD alpha. All these four terms are here. All these three terms are okay. No other cancellations. Okay, let's drop this off. So rub this off. Okay, so we have got. So what we need to find? Remember, alpha minus PQ is a term we want. So let's let's combine that together. AC. Minus, so you got this. This uh, these two terms must be coming together, okay? AD and ADPQ, 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 ADPQ. These two terms must be coming together to get alpha minus PQ. BC alpha, BCPQ, BCPQ. Yeah. So this term must be coming together. And BDQ alpha. Yeah. This this term must be coming together. Right. Must understand how we logically progress towards this problem. You must understand that we have to sometimes think backward. So AC is there from common. It's like alpha minus PQ. For this, we have got AC. Let's cut this out. Here, minus AD. Minus BC plus BD. Good. Thank you so much. Minus BD, BC plus BD is equal to zero. Good. Lovely. Okay. So we have got that it's equal to. Now we have to check it why this is not the thing. So I think there is another uh, factorization over here. It's AC. Yeah, it's C minus D. So C minus D times. A minus B is equal to zero. So it tells you that either A is equal to B and C is equal to D. Where did it go? A is equal to B or C is equal to D. Or so we know that we have given the condition that all of them are taking two distinct values. So therefore, it cannot be independent. Can you tell me why if a and B are A, a and a, a, if one of them are equal, then why it is independent? Because it's coming out that it can only take the any in that only possible value, okay? So that's why it's becoming independent, and that's the idea. So therefore, it's if and only if this cannot happen. So therefore, A alpha must be equal to P. It's if and only if. All of you got this, man. Guys, all of you got this. It's beautiful. Yep. All of you got this idea. Any doubts? Sneha, Tishika, Sweeteja, Nisha. Any doubts? Clear? Did you understand this, Tishika, and all the people who are giving 2020 exam? 2022, sorry. Thank you, my pleasure. Okay, lovely. Thank you so much, guys, for your time and for enjoying the class. I hope you enjoyed. And if you like the session, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, yep, so please be there for the next uh, session, and please share it to your friends in your college and your junior since it's free. Uh, if you share it, it will be really good for our efforts to spread the law of statistics and law like data what we are having inside of us, the passion to share the knowledge. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for your time, and good night. Stay tuned and stay blessed, and don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Okay, bye bye. Thank you so much.